ขาสาสาสามาข้าสมาพระกาศตกพระกาศตก You got it. I challenge all of you on Twitter to follow John Richardson <laughs> and Missy, and all of you work together to come up with a way to blindside me. You can DM them. You can do whatever you want. There are no rules. I guarantee you, I'll find out. So go ahead, everybody. <laughs> Hey everybody, Eric Hurdo here from YourRealityRecaps.com with an all-new Survivor Blood vs. Water weekly group recap show that we broadcast live every Thursday on our YouTube channel and in our Z Box room. And during these shows, myself, John, and Missy Z get in depth on everything from this past week's Survivor, all while taking your questions live and interacting with all of you. Now, this is the edited version with all the bells and whistles, but you guys should totally join us for the live version sometimes too. So, before we get started, remember: if you guys are watching in YouTube or on a YouTube player, you can click on the buttons all around this video to jump to, you know, different parts of the show. Also, if you're watching in YouTube, check out the description below because there's also chapter markers, and they allow you to skip to a specific topic you want to hear us talk about, or skip over ones like this intro. But why would you guys want to do that? And of course, all of our other links and show notes are down there as well. You should also know by now that you can take the audio-only or video versions of our show with you to go on your favorite tablet or mobile device. Our iTunes and RSS feed links are guess where down there below too. So do us a favor: if you're watching on YouTube, thumbs up, subscribe so that you guys never miss any of our shows. Share them with all your friends on your favorite social media network, and if you're on iTunes, give us a five-star rating and a nice review. Really helps support the show, and you know what? It keeps us doing them for free for you guys all season long. So, make sure that you guys stick around to the end of the episode for all of our other special announcements, prize giveaways, and you know, all the rigmarole. But since we have so much to get to this week, let's just jump right into it. And you know the deal. You can follow me over at Twitter and at Reality Recaps. Hey guys, you can find me on Twitter at mi55y, or you can find me on Facebook, Facebook at Superfan Missy Z. I am really glad to be back because a lot has happened in the past two weeks. I know. Oh, hey, it's John Richardson. You can find me at Comedy Jonah on Twitter. I'm so glad to be back. It's so good to be with Missy again and Eric, of course. But man, we can almost recap the last episode as well, right? Since we here? Well, no, we can because we know that you're on a time crunch. Um, Not that much of a time crunch. Before we get to that, I just have a few quick announcements that I need to make, and then John will see how much you're going to like us in a minute. So I just want to remind everybody that you can leave your questions for us up in that corner. Nope, that corner, that one uh, for the show. We will put them into the show. Also, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like our videos. And of course, tomorrow night we will be joined by Jesse from Big Brother 15 on our reality check show. So those are all our special on. So, and we're going to have Gina Marie on. Missy, you might like this. We're going to have Gina Marie on next week because she has some stuff she wants to talk to us about and Helen. So we have a lot of upcoming shows that are going to be really good next week. You can find out all that info over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash live show. Now, John Richardson. It. John Richardson. I what? need you to do me a favor. Before what? we start this show, I need you what? to just turn around for a minute. No. Just turn around. No. Just turn around. You must turn around for one minute. No. Trust well, you, me. Do you have some hot date? Um, well, turn around. Well, now you've already ruined it. Now you might as well not turn around. <laughs> Now I'm not coming back around. I'm going to stay like this the whole time. <laughs> okay. Oh, well. he's such a coconut. 
here is what I was going to put on the screen, but fine, John Richardson. I was going to let everybody know that you already knew about our secret alliance and code word because a viewer told you, but we were going to all watch you pretend not to know. But apparently that lasted all of four seconds. So You're thanks. welcome. Thanks. Nothing gets past me. Nothing. You remember that, Miss Kuro. I feel a blind side coming. Mm -hmm. I feel a blind side coming. Oh, wait, wait. This brings up a very good point, Joe. That was my other last thing to have to uh, just let everybody know. This whole new format, like Google has changed everything, so we're all still working on it. I'm aware that Missy says Joe right now. We're aware that we're in these stupid square boxes. We hate it. Google Plus and YouTube is supposedly changing it, but just work with us. You guys know Missy is really Missy and not Joe, and hopefully we'll get out of these stupid squares <laughs> soon. Okay, so it, now let's It's my incognito about. name. It's my incognito name. That's how I go on the internet. I'm catfishing. Hello. <laughs> uh -oh. Are you that show from last night that I was talking to? It could be. Could be. I don't know. I don't know. I see flying flamingos and hot dates and coconut mm -hmm. appliances. That's all I'm seeing. Okay. Hashtag. Well, well, Missy, let me put it to you this way. If I was going to go on a date with you, I bet that what you wouldn't want to hear me say to you is that you're my number five in the rotation. You're oh, my yeah. number five. <laughs> no, I, I, number five. <laughs> I thought it was going to be, I can go again in 10 minutes. I know where I'm <laughs> one and two. I don't need to be a number five, right, Coconut Alliance? Oh, I see Hello. how it is. We're just we're just bailing the hot date and flamingo alliance and running right back to John now that he found out. <laughs> so, so let's get the driver. Yes, let's let's go. Let's kick it off. Well, what did we think of Monica being offered number five by Tina right at the start of the episode? <laughs> I thought that was kind of stupid. I love that Monica's smart enough to know that she doesn't want to be number five. She's not going to be number five. And if she has anything to do with it, she'll be number one. Mm -hmm. Do you really think it was that smart to vote off Laura? I mean, shouldn't they have gotten rid of Vetus? I don't know. Are we going to jump right to the end of the episode right now? I think we have a lot of filler to get to that point, John Rich. See, he's talking about last week, though. That's oh, about last week. I wasn't here last week. Can we just can we just start there a little bit, please? Since um, oh, okay, 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 okay. Are you here? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, good. Okay. Let's talk last yeah, week. Yeah. Then. So what happened? Because I don't remember at all. <laughs> well, um, they voted off Laura. She went to Redemption Island, and then last night's episode is when she and Tom and the other Laura fought for um to get back into the game. And my que my question to you guys is. The end of last week's episode, do you think it was really smart for all the girls to vote off Laura when they could have gotten rid of Vetus? I don't agree with that. I agree with you, John. Again, this coconut alliance thing we got going on. <laughs> I absolutely agree with you. I thought it was a dumb move. Um, yeah, but that brings us to this week. So how dumb of a move really was it? I don't know. I think it was stupid. I They should have got rid of... Laura should have still been in, and it would have been better to see him competing at Redemption than seeing Laura compete at Redemption this week. Well, absolutely. And do you think... I don't think... I When she told Vetus, hey, we love you so much, and you're so full of positive energy, but we're going to vote you out tonight. And she didn't even ask her alliance first. I was shocked. Mm -hmm. like, I was kind of flip-flopping a little bit, like, eh, maybe she isn't that much that, that trustworthy. I don't know. But Nothing shocks me with this season of Survivor. Nothing is shocking me. <laughs> it, you know, you think it's predictable, and then it's unpredictable. It's all these blind sides left and right. Yeah. And if one more person throws that paper in the fire, I, I was going to say that was my next comment. Oh, yeah. when, that was my next comment. Every time that clue is thrown in the fire, Missy, I think of you. I cringe. I, I, I know. Cringe. I can feel like, you yeah. on the other side of Seattle cringing. Yeah, that's right. You feel it, don't you, John? I know <laughs> I you do. do. I, I feel know. everything. I'm just all about the vibrations. I hope that <laughs> Jeff Probst, when the time comes for one of those people like Monica or Laura to be voted off, I hope as like Jeff is putting out the torch, he just goes, bet you wish you kept the clue. That, and Jeff looked defeated this week. All the other weeks, he's like, oh, okay, burning the clue, burning the clue. This week, he let out an audible and visual, like, sigh. He just went, yep. oh. Like, yep. like, 
He hates it. He hates it. Hates that. But just Let's before... Go about... oh, go ahead, Missy. I was just going to say, I want to talk about re- the, the, the holding on to the pole. First of all, it would have yeah. been great if they had a twirl around it. I'm just, I just thought I'd <laughs> throw that out there. But none of, them, none of them were twirling. They were really trying well. to hold on. <laughs> I liked that challenge. It looks simple, but it's a lot harder than it appears. It, it was. was. I Go ahead, Eric. No, go ahead. No, I thought when they said that they had to hold on, I'm like, oh, my gosh, Tom is going to win. You know, men just naturally have a more upper body strength. Mm-hmm. I couldn't, and that's before I was upset about the paper challenge and thinking of Missy. I thought of you, Eric. Well, you should have thought of me because anytime it involves John and his poll, I'm all over John and his poll. But <laughs> I my poll that Tom left that he is not on the show anymore. Okay, it's John. By the way, you should oh, know John. his name. Yeah, it's John. I was like, who's Tom? It's John the, with John. It's the same as yours. <laughs> yeah, it's look, with an H. Here's here's the thing. I don't know why you think he would be good at it. This is very reminiscent of a slippery wiener on Big Brother and on all these other ones. <laughs> Those are made for the lighter person. The heavier you are, the bigger you are, the more you have to hold on to that pole. I didn't feel it was a challenge at all made for John to win. I feel like it was catered for the girls to win when you throw that out. Which kind of Rob Sesternino said last week, like if you were production, who would you want back in the game? John, Laura, or um, what's her Laura. face? Yeah. Laura. Or, or other Laura. Uh, and I Great. agree. That's who I think production wanted back in the game was uh, Laura. Yeah. Well, John made the mistake of taking off his shoes. I mean, mm-hmm. he lost all traction. Did you really think that slippery socks were going to help you I guess he was thinking that if he took off his shoes, he could wedge his feet into the holes there on the on the stump itself. But it didn't work. All it did was make him slide down. He had no traction. I think that was a dumb move on his part, and it's something that he can go back and uh, crucify himself for because that that was his that was his downfall. He had the upper body strength to hold him up there. Uh, keeping his shoes on would have kept his feet in there, and he wouldn't have slipped as quickly as he fell. I think still you're right, though, Eric. I'll give you kudos, Eric. It is built built for a smaller woman. Or even a smaller guy. It doesn't need to necessarily be a a woman. Like Uh, a Matt Hoffman. Right, like a Matt Hoffman. Uh, Let's not even bring up how shoe size matters in these challenges. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's not Big Brother. Um, yeah, I was so sad, though, to see John go. I think he wants to compete. Obviously, he is the last of my eye candy. I should also say, um, and I apologize because I do not remember her name, but uh, somebody on Twitter told me last night that theory, though, is not also very true because Tyson won that challenge on his Survivor season, which, of course, all of us would know because we only need been following survivor for about four or five but, years so but again tyson's a small guy i mean True. maybe not in height but in weight right so, not an attitude that. not an attitude and personality though <laughs> oh he has such a big ego he really does. people like him unfortunately make me love to hate them mm. i mean i just want to like knock him down a size a little bit because of his ego but then again, you know, as I was watching with my glasses on this week, um, I think he's playing a really good game. I'm kind of nervous that he might make it to the end. Oh, definitely. Definitely 100%. And speaking of your glasses, Missy, Kim G says, Missy has her glasses on. Yay. <laughs> laugh out loud. I don't I don't think she was saying it laugh out loud because in another comment I saw she was saying Yeah, well, I just had them on for a little bit. Now I'm taking them off because I'm far-sighted, not near-sighted, or however that goes, you know. I had that backwards. And all I so want no, you to Perfect. And all I want you to do is just go, I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair because that oh. win. That win. That's what I want. No kidding. The wind out here is crazy. I don't know what the hell I'm doing out in this jungle back here. Jesus, why do I do these shows outside? I have no idea because the lighting is not good in my house. Because you're committing. <laughs> you are committing to the fans. That is You have why. the best background. And my fingers are blue and I'm cold and I got boots. I got Uggs on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See everyone, Missy, how much she does for the show. She does. She does a lot. So <laughs> um, it was in the end, Laura M, who was voted back in 
And then uh-huh. Jeff drops the bomb. We're all merged. And I have to say, it took me a good 20 minutes to figure out that the new tribe name for the one tribe, thank God we don't need to know, Tadhana and Galang anymore. Now we have Kasama. I didn't even say it. It's K-A-S-A-M-A. What is that? Kasama? Kasma? I have no idea. I didn't Kankama? even hear the name. I must have been deaf at that time. They Did didn't they say it. <laughs> nope, they didn't say it at all. They only no. showed the flag, the flag after it was made. So mm-hmm. maybe gotcha. they can't even say it. After the fourth graders made the flag, we saw the name of it on the beach. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. Monica. I think not Monica. Uh, Sierra and Laura. Um, with Laura going back into the game, obviously we just discussed that she threw away the idol clue. Not that it really mattered because Tyson got uh, the clue from Hayden, so he knew where to go find that idol, and he has it. it. But yeah, but I want to go to uh, Laura and Sierra. Um, she should have sat on the other side. She has to think of her moves in this game. I mean, when she, as soon as she went back into the game, she sat right down next to her daughter. See, I'd have been 10 steps ahead, and I just sat, I just sat with my old troop, with my old tribe. You know, because right there, it shows we're a couple. You know, you want to <laughs> deflect all the power that you have in this game off yourself. Why are you laughing, John? What happened? Oh, I know what of he's going to say. Of course there are a couple. Yeah. It's her daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you want to deflect all the, you know, we're a team off you. She should have went and sat with her tribe. Well, no, I think it's what a stage I think of fight. It, what I think is interesting is that Sierra makes the deal with all the other people that don't have loved ones anymore. And then her loved one gets voted back in, which, you know, is very interesting because it's like, glad you're back in the game, mom, but you're ruining my game kind of thing. And I like that she took her aside and I like that she kind of presented her alliance with, hey, we've got another vote. So sh- shut up. Sh- sh- sh-. And I will just shut my mom up and, you know, mom, shut up and just go along with things. And how you know, the, the roles are reversed a little bit was interesting, I thought. Yeah, but Laura's played the game before. And Sierra is, I don't know. See, this is where it's, it's starting to tangle. I, I, Sierra's acting like she's played the game before. She hasn't. She's she, acting like she's a stronger player in Survivor than her mother. I don't she's, know. She's been in the game these last several weeks longer than her mother. Her mother's been on a little island and is putting puzzles together and then back on the island. Sarah's yeah. actually been on it, strategizing, making alliances, talking to people. So she, Laura needs to be quiet because she's a veteran. She should know to be quiet and start to follow a lead until she can find a little sliver of crap to start doing her own thing. Well, that can is. Can you imagine your Thanksgiving dinner? Mama was a better player oh. than you. <laughs> Well, that is a very good point. You guys comment below and let us know what you think. Is Laura um, a better... Should Laura be making the decisions based solely on the fact that she's a veteran player, or should Sierra be making some of these decisions because she's actually been in the game while her mom is taking a break on the island? Now, look. Taking a break. Here is is another (laughs) question I have for all of you, because as we all saw last night, Tyson found the immunity idol because the cameraman was pointing the camera directly at it, like every season. Anyway, um, um, but he was only wearing his underwear. The blue Where underwear. Where did he find that? Where did mm-hmm. he find that idol when he went? Because there's only one hole that I know that's open for that immunity idol to go in. Just saying. He, he hid it underneath his buff on his wrist. I thought he hid it in his unwashed frizzy blonde hair. I thought he hid it in his buff. I didn't Thank see him Lord. hide it anywhere. I saw him wearing it around his neck, and then the scene was <laughs> over, and I he saw, went back to the camp. I saw him go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't be surprised. But you know what? That's something bucks. That's, For I bucks. did pay attention to that, and I think he had it tucked underneath his buff oh, yeah, on his wrist. Yeah, All right, well, <laughs> you you guys comment and let us know below. Let us know where Tyson stuff that him. You know, I well, asked you, him. I asked him last night on Twitter. He didn't answer me. <laughs> well, you know, it was kind of when he put the necklace on. It was kind of plain. I would have walked up to the beach going, "What are you talking? This isn't the immunity necklace. I just made this. I've been crafting in the wilderness all day." Mm-hmm. This is what I made. Well, I'm glad that they brought. I'm glad that they brought the uh, the challenge back for for the immunity idol itself for the 
you know, immunity necklace, I should say. That's one. I wonder how heavy that is. Do you guys know? Uh, I mean, it looks like it, it's made of stone, like, or wood. So, I mean, clearly it's got to be pretty heavy, I guess. I, I That's can... a question for everybody out there, because I want to know. Anybody know how, how heavy having immunity, that immunity... No, the necklace. Yeah. I, mean, I want to know how heavy that is. <laughs> Do you need to stake yourself to the ground? <laughs> yeah, it's like an anchor. <laughs> Maybe you need the necklace to kind of anchor yourself down. <laughs> now, okay, you guys. The community <laughs> challenge itself, though. Mm -hmm. How well do you think you'd have done? Because that had been right up my alley. Really? Would it have yeah. been up your alley? Okay, ready, Missy? Ready? Uh huh. Pen that I chewed. Water bottle. I have to put them in the right Wait, order. I can't see you, unfortunately. No, that had been right uh, up my alley. Cause... Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or we'll have to play that later. That I would have been out. I would have been out in two water seconds. Bottle. I wouldn't. No have way. I did definitely. Water. No, I. I didn't. I'd have had that one down pat. That's like playing Simon Says or Simon. You know, red, yellow, green, yellow, blue, green. As soon as they said all the items, cannon. Um, I started putting things alphabetically in order. Go ahead, play this game with me next week, Eric, when I can see what you're holding up. Because I'm telling you, I'd have had that hands down. And I think a lot of them threw it, like Hayden. I think he knew. I think he just threw it. Again. Oh, I don't think Hayden's the one that threw it. I think Aris is the one that threw it and then completely regretted it. I think he wanted his brother to have brother it. Brother to have it. 100%. Mm -hmm. And you I guys comment that. below yeah, and let us know I what don't. you think. Do yeah. you guys think that Aris threw it? Um, let us know in the comment section below. What do you think, John? I don't think he threw it. I think he's probably sick of his brother and his sob story. Oh, I was done heroin. <laughs> okay, you made bad choices. It's your fault. <laughs> I need to win. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they both, both of them were super confident, though, as soon as the merge. I mean... They both said, you know, we have the numbers. We can do it this way. This We're going to get to the end. It's going to be us final two. No one can beat us in final three. And I was like, uh, um, you know, because I don't know yeah. who's in the final three. But, again, overconfident and cocky gets you out the door. Yeah. Over, I, I, I yeah. Over, overconfident and cocky gets you <coughs> blindsided. <laughs> <laughs> no hot take for them. He was a real R ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, by the way, Dana is telling us in the chat room that it's Kasama. So I'm going to go with Kasama, right? That's what we would all agree with. Kasama. Kasama. Everybody now, together. One, two, three. Kasama. Kasama. <laughs> oh, no, wait, here. You ready? Harigato. Ka. Sa. 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 Ma. Kasama. Harigato. We got it. We got it. We got it. John, you ruined the edit of that, but we got it. We got it. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I just, I think it is interesting. It was kind of confusing all of the power plays or all the people that wanted to be in power last night between like a Tina and a Monica and Aris and Adidas, a Laura and a Sierra. It was very hard to follow. They just kept throwing those like little snippets out of like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? But like you say, the second they show Aris on the beach being like, I got this game on lock or I got this beach on lock. Well, uh -huh. there, you knew he was the one going home. Then you know it's him. Yep. Or going to the redemption. I shouldn't say go home. Sorry. Because now we have redemption part two. I know. Did you, I am, I am not afraid to admit this, dear viewer. This is the first season that I've seen that had redemption. So I was surprised when he was like putting out his torch and I'm like, thank God he's gone. He's like, you still have a chance to get back in this game. I'm like, what the fuck? No, what? people normally just go. Going? Yeah, normally yeah. people just go home. And I thought when Jeff said it, it was just like part of a bad edit. And then he said it again. And I'm just like, what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought we only had one redemption and then it was over. I didn't know we'd do we two do. redemptions, but apparently no, we, we do. Yeah. Well, well, what but can we do? To, to yeah. tribal, if we can move on to tribal, because again, Jeff, you know, tribal council with Jeff is really, it's difficult sometimes. But once again, I think that Sierra and Laura really blew it for themselves. 
They should have said, they should have never said, yeah, well, when my mom came and we merged, I sat and I told her, no, you don't say something like that. So yeah, the merge happened. We got to see each other. It was a great bonding moment, but you don't say we talk strategy. We talk game. I told her this. She told me that she's a great girl because of this. Uh, again, I think that they hurt themselves. Well, I think what she's trying to do is kind of present to everyone, including her alliance, that she's still part of the alliance and that, you know, mm -hmm. she was just kind of bringing her mother in and, uh, and bringing her up to speed, but I'm still loyal to all of you kind of thing. Because Jeff mm -hmm. really gets digging in with those questions. Does it get like worse and worse every year? It seems like it. Jeff's just right in there. Just well, he's a needling. producer. He's a needler. He's a, he's a producer on the show, so he wants to do that. He's a needler. See now, I I didn't I agree with John Missy on his point about Sierra and Laura, hot but day. I but hot day, but I agree. <laughs> I agree with what you're saying, just with a different person. I feel like Hayden. What the hell were you doing? Hayden was just like diarrheaing of the mouth all the information <laughs> out. And I think I said to him on Twitter, hey, Hayden, this isn't the diary room. They can hear you. Uh -huh. So what are you doing? He just like kept giving up, like, you're not in danger. There's no threat to you this week. And he's just like, oh, well, I'm kind of worried about this person. And that person's kind of threat. And I don't really know what I'm doing. But I guess we could just pick up a fifth person and vote how we want. What are you doing, Hayden? What are yeah. you doing? Well, the merge really screwed Hayden, I mean, in his thought process, because, you know, we got that 10 second clip of him, you know, breaking it all down for us with his pearly whites, which I liked. I, I really did like. But again, they acted like he was a strategic player and he's never played before. So I think that strategy should have came from someone who has played before, not not to discredit him. But again, it showed it showed where his weakness is. And it just shows how everything changes in Survivor. I mean, you don't know who to trust. And that's called blindside, and that's what makes Survivor so fun. And right now, in this video that we're doing, you know, I feel blindsided. Are you guys going to blindside me? I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> no, Missy, Are believe me. You, uh, I'm assuming that you're referring to John knowing about the thing. As you know, I have took a long time to make up that little graphic in the beginning of the show, because I thought it would have been a really funny gag to do the whole entire show, which John Richardson ruined in the first 20 seconds. So no, trust me, we're not in an alliance. So John. What? Do you want to, do you want to blindside Eric or? Well, I first want to say, I think what was wrong with Hayden is he was trying to figure out multiple ways how to break up a cat because right. she didn't make it to the merge <laughs> or off redemption. Well, look, so, before, wait, 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 before both of you try and blindside me, and let's all remember, I, I edit the show so I could have me blindsiding both of you in two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> so, but wait, wait, because we have a really good question from Dana, who wants to know, um, she wonders if Vetus had given Aris the necklace, would Vetus have gone home? So uh, what what do you guys think about that? And also comment in you know the section below when you guys are watching this later and let um all of us and Dana know what you think. So what do we think? Um well if he had the necklace, if the other person yeah, no, vice versa. No, I don't think. I think that it would have been Laura. Laura M. Yeah. John? Again, that comes to the challenge. What was the question? <laughs> if Aris if Aris, I mean, I'm sorry, if if Vetus had given Aris the necklace, because Vetus won immunity, so if Vetus okay. had given Aris the immunity necklace, would Vetus have then gone home tonight instead of Aris, or last night? Well, no, but, I mean, he'd have to give him the necklace just before the votes are done, right? Just like, is there any immunity necklace? No, 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 no. No, the immunity necklace has nothing to do. It's not like the immunity idol doesn't play like that. The immunity necklace means that he could not go home at all. So in other words, in the competition, if he'd have given it to his brother instead of him winning it himself, would he have gone home? Yes. I, I think no. I think somebody else would have gone home. I think it, they're targeting the brother. So either brother would have gone home. Oh, I That's agree with John. I yeah. think they're. I think. I think clearly the fact that Aris went meant they're targeting the brothers. John, yeah. no, no, no. We're in this coconut alliance. You cannot agree with Eric. No, so, Laura would have went home. Sorry. 
Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Look, you guys don't have to worry about it. I'll always disagree with you so that we all don't agree. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you say. I'll always just have the opposite opinion. So it's not boring. Um, so, I mean, were you guys shocked to see that it was Aris, the one ultimately voted out or not? I mean, I, w I was a little surprised. I kind of, I didn't feel like Tyson was going to be able to rally everybody. I, I really didn't. I thought Laura was going home. And let's just remember, Tyson still has that immunity idol. Mm -hmm. So he can play it any any time because yeah. he has it. And normally, too, the person that comes back and is voted back into the game for redemption usually is the first one voted out. So just the dynamics of blood versus water is is so interesting that Laura M stayed over RS. Well, here's, so, yeah. here's, what I'm, here's what I'm questioning as a fan watching. Is it... That they're all thinking that it's, you know, separate the couples. So this week it was, uh, uh, what's his name? Aris and Venus. Yeah. Yeah. And next week, is it going to be, uh, Laura, Laura and Sierra? And the following week, will it be Tina and what's her daughter's name? I forget. That's you know, a, that's a great point. Very forgettable. <laughs> yeah. Is, is, is that what, Katie, Katie, is Katie. that what they're doing now? I mean, is that what everyone's, you know, speaking behind each other's back and you know oh we have this alliance yeah. but in the back of their mind are they really just separating the couples and they went for the power couple first while they had the opportunity john i mean yes here okay so i'll say yes 100 percent. we're playing for a million dollars and i realized right. that tina as a winner aris as a winner a lot of people felt like they were going to have this off camera or pre-season agreement that they made with yeah. each other to always look out for each other which i kind of right. feel like maybe they did have but at the end of the day i don't care Right. I'm playing for me to win this game. Unless I am playing with my family member, I don't care about anybody else I'm playing with. Sorry, I need a million dollars. John Missy, bye-bye. I vote John. No, that is not true. I would keep people that I knew in real life. Eric, you would me. vote me out? You would no. do that to me? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I would not vote anybody. I would obviously we would all trust the people we knew in real life, but I think it's different with a Tina and Aris. Yes, they know each other in real life, but not really. They just know each other because they were both on Survivor and both winners. I don't think they're in each other's life every Monica day. and Colton knew each other and look how that ended up. I disagree with you, Eric, because it's you. I think that <laughs> I don't think they're on honestly targeting all the couples. I think scrawny Katie is leave her around. I can manipulate her. I can have her. She can be a vote for me on my alliance. And Tina, she, if, if yeah, I would keep that scrawny couple together. Anyone that I could manipulate. Definitely. You have to get rid of Tina to manipulate unforgettable what is her name again i already katie. forgot katie, katie thank you you need to get rid of katie in order to control her because there's i uh, get rid of tina in order to be able to control katie as long as tina is there katie is not doing anything anybody else says but her mom mm -hmm. but you know i i just knew that merge was the merge was coming to last night I, I i think i said that in our last our last recap that I... uh will happen in two weeks I disagree because Tina is telling Katie to get together with that heroin user, and she's not. <laughs> well, that is, a, that is a very good point. John. Yeah, Missy, we all knew that it was happening because for some reason, Survivor likes to spoil everything during The Amazing Race. Like last night, and I want to talk for two seconds about the coming attractions. They always show us the coming attractions directly after Survivor, where they don't really show us anything. Then, after The Amazing Race on Sunday nights, they show the coming attractions again, and they give everything away. Like, I, I, I don't agree, care. And I it's, hate that. Me too. I, I hate, hate it. Hate it. Mm -hmm. CBS, stop doing that, please, because you're ruining my Survivor experience. I'm usually drunk. I don't care. <laughs> well, as long as we're putting in our CBS complaints, hey, I, I get it. Football is on. I don't care. Stop delaying my show. Can we get a football channel? 
let's look at a football channel and put everything over there. I'm sick of football delaying our shows. Uh, but more importantly, are they drinking piss this next week? Because the they're drinking piss next week, is all I'm saying. Animal urine. Yeah. Shots of animal urine next week. Get ready. Mm-hmm. Well, this is, I thought of you with the food competition too, because of course we know this is something you you yeah. can barely watch on TV, let alone do it in person. Even though we don't They're know how, we don't know how many things you had in your mouth, but yeah, it looks pretty disgusting. Yeah, no. they're drinking uh-uh. urine, Missy. They're during urine shots. Or let's put it this way. They're drinking some yellow liquid that came out of an animal. I don't know what it could be. Uh-uh. I I was literally Is that like, worth a million dollars? <laughs> Is that worth a million dollars? Is that worth a million dollars? Missy, hold on. Missy, hold on to something. <laughs> Is that worth a million dollars? Nope. That's disgusting. Yes. yes. No. John, well, for a million dollars, would you? I've had worse things in my mouth. No, John, please. I, Eric? I I cannot believe this is going to come out of my mouth. And John, you should stop laughing because you are not going to believe what I'm going to say right now. Oh, I think I, I believe it. Happy anniversary, I would John. do it. Thank you. I, I would do it. I would 100%. Yeah, you I would. would do it. If it you was would. a food thing, I would puke my brains out. I would be hysterical crying the entire time. But oh, for a million, that? the chance of a million dollars, I think I could do that. Oh, I no. could not jump off a bridge. I could not I do could. something where physically I could die. But yeah, if I it's could. just eating something, what's the worst that's going to happen? I'm going to puke my brains out. I wish I had a million dollars just to see you crying endlessly, gagging, screaming, red face, and have it recorded. Like, that would be, oh, I don't think I'm, I could I'm going to get on that right now and earn a million dollars. I don't think I could do it. I really don't think, I, I would throw my flag up. I would, I would burn my buff. Uh-uh. I don't think I could do it. I could do it. I could, I, I could uh, eat cockroaches, swallow ants. Listen, I could do all that. I could probably, I could not drink urine. I'm sorry. I can't. Well, Get then, Miss Let's Faith. end it there. Well, no, hold on. You ready golden here? showers hold for on. you. I'm almost, almost done crying. <laughs> John, I don't want to eat it. Okay, Missy, P.S. Don't ever, um, God forbid, become a diabetic then. Because, as my best friend who is a diabetic tells me, there are many times when you have to taste your urine uh, for diabetic issues. So, no, or, you know, <clears throat> there's other testing supplies out there. No, thank yeah. you. We're done. Don't don't get stung <laughs> by a jellyfish. Oh, don't don't get stung by a jellyfish because we'll have to pee on your wound. I am going to start gagging. Okay. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Okay. Just stinky pee. Just stinky no. yellow pee. So and hot, warm, warm, stinky yellow pee. Warm. Oh, okay. Okay. I agree. We're done talking about pee now. I, I am not looking forward to next week at all. So is there anything else that you guys want to talk about from this week before we wrap it all up or any predictions since we're at the merge? I will allow us all to change who we think is going to win Survivor this season. I am going to keep um, uh, Monica. I'm going to stick with Monica. Who do you think I'm sticking say? with Monica. I want Mon- I want Monica to oh, win. Okay. I don't know if she will win it, but right now I, I would like it to be Monica. Okay, then I am changing my vote to Tyson. <laughs> I would like Tyson to win. Tyson for the win. John? I'm keeping my vote, Team Caleb. Hashtag Team Caleb. Yeah, he's had it the toughest, I mean, since week one or day three. He's when doing good. Don't stay in anymore. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing great. Um, Well, you guys make sure that you comment below. Let us know who you think is going to go all the way this season of Survivor. Don't forget, John and I will be back tomorrow night for a reality check show at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, a special time with Jesse from Big Brother 15. And I guess that about wraps it up for this week. So go ahead, Missy, and do your outro. Hey guys, super fan Missy Z here. Hope you enjoyed this week's Survivor Recap here for yourrealityrecaps.com. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at MI55Y and uh, 
yeah, we'll just leave it at that. No, no pee drinking next week. Ding. Yeah. Oh, well then, Missy here, just let me say that Kim G in the chat room is saying, you're speechless. Oh my gosh. Yuri um, makes you speechless. Wait, wait a minute. And guess what? And guess what? Um, Dana. Oh, nope. And Dana is telling me to get my bar pick. I thought Dana had said the same exact thing as well, but she didn't. Okay. Go, go, yeah. go ahead, John, do your outro. Hey, everyone. It's so great to be back with my two favorite people. You know, Missy and I are in our own coconut alliance. So if you have any ideas on how we should blindside Eric on the next episode, follow us on Twitter. You can follow me at Comedy Jonah. And you can follow Missy and hashtag coconut alliance and let us know. Yeah, and DM us so Eric can't know. Because Eric, Eric, I'm really sad to say, but you've been blindsided. You're going down. I was not true to our alliance. Mm -hmm. Uh Bye-bye. Bye bye, hot date. Bye bye. Okay. In that case, in that bye case, I, I I will say this. I challenge all of you on Twitter to follow John Richardson <laughs> and Missy, and all of you work together to come up with a way to blindside me. You can DM them. You can do whatever you want. There are no <laughs> rules. I guarantee you, I'll find out. So go ahead, everybody, get your little alliances on with Missy and John on Twitter or on our Facebook page, Facebook slash Reality Recaps, and you can make plans with them. You're just going to have to figure out a way that I won't be able to see it or read it or find out about it. That's your challenge you guys have to the end of the season. And probably the only way you'll be able to... Bye. Bye, everybody. Well, that about wraps up our show for this week. Now, don't forget to head over to yourrealityrecaps.com to see all of our vlogs, contests, and videos about Big Brother, Survivor, The Amazing Race, and even your favorite Bravo TV shows. And hey, speaking of, except, well, not really, you guys should know by now that you can take this show with you to go on your favorite tablet or mobile device. The iTunes and RSS links are below, and I haven't separated them between audio only and video. And for those of you in iTunes, do us a favor and give us a five-star rating and, you know, a really nice review. Otherwise, I'm going to kick a baby. No, I am not going to kick a baby, unless you are watching in YouTube and you do not thumbs up us and subscribe to this all-new channel. All right, look, I'm not kicking any babies, people, but seriously, it really helps support the show when you guys do that, and it allows us to keep bringing you content like this, our live events, and prize giveaways. But if you guys really want to be a gold star supporter, you should do all of your Amazon.com shopping through the link over on our website, and you can check out some of those ads, or you can simply make a donation to us right there, too. And look, I get it. Money site. You guys try not having any because you spend all your time making videos like these. And hey, the easiest way that you guys can help support us for free is just simply to share these videos and everything that we do on Twitter and Facebook or any social media website will do. We are literally on all of them. You guys can find us on them by simply going to yourrealityrecaps.com slash the name of the website you're looking for. So slash Tumblr, slash Pinterest, slash you get the point. Of course, you can always click on the links all around this video, but people, look, the truth is we just love interacting with all of you why we do these shows. So please make sure that you leave us your question, comments, and suggestions because you never know which ones we'll pick to be on the show next week or even instantly if you are watching our live shows on our YouTube channel or in our Z-Box room. The links to that and everything I've mentioned in this video is in the description below it over on YouTube or you can find everything over at yourrealityrecaps.com. Now, since I think I mentioned just about everything I possibly could, we will see you guys all in our next video. Bye for now.